live in a society where big business has accumulated so much power um, that it's almost impossible for ordinary people to make their voices heard. They're completely blasted out of the water, essentially, in anything that they try to say. The moment the United States and the European Union are negotiating a trade deal called the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. Uh, this doesn't have very much to do with trade, as most people understand it. What it really has to do with is rewriting the rules of the global economy to further benefit big business. And that will be detrimental to ordinary people being able to exercise their, their voice. If it does become law, it will give big business the power to sue our government for making legislation in the public interest, in the interest of the environment, to protect, uh, for example, food uh, standards in this country. It will give big business a parallel legal process that it can use, so it doesn't even have to go through our court system. So that if our government decides we want to properly renationalize and publicly control the railways, uh, the health service, uh, the energy companies, American big business will be able to sue our government in private arbitration courts for taking those decisions, even though the people of this country might want that and it might benefit the people of this country. So it's really dangerous. Big business has such a hold over the means of communication in our society, the means of discussion in our society. So we are whitewashed out of the discourse, apart from on the very margins. I mean, sometimes they will, they will present us in the media as on the very margins of what is acceptable um, to think or say in our society, but really so beyond the pale um, that you want to stay on the margins and other people, you don't want to believe that unless you want to be on the margins too. <laughs> So people have no control over their society, people have no control over the economy, which is absolutely essential if we want to live in a democracy. Uh, people have almost no control over their communities anymore. Um, they are constantly told what to do, what to buy, what to think by big business. And our politicians are in the pockets of big business. And this has created a society of the most enormous inequality um, that, we've, that we've seen in a, in a century. Um, so we now have the 85 richest people on the planet who have the same amount of, of wealth as half of the planet's population. Great lengths have gone to to make, it, to make us feel like we're not actually part of a community, that we have no support. But actually, coming out together um, sharing stories, sharing skills, talking about the problems in our society um, can make us incredibly empowered actually and especially if we do that in a very public place, a place which is supposed to be symbolic of our democracy. In fact people call you know, Parliament and the area around Parliament um, the, the home of, of, of democracy, it's supposed to be the mother of Parliament. Well actually what we're doing is taking back this bit of uh, common land um, for a short amount of time and saying this is the real debate, this is the real discussion that people want to be having and it's really important that people engage with that.